before all the insanity happened and the eye sockets were removed from his brain, you, Jeff, and Ben were very good friends and you didn't think that anything could go wrong until one day it just went upside down and Jeff went missing and gone insane and many murders took place that day he left and Ben drowned in a lake or a pool and was mm, pronounced dead. You were very devastated and even before this happened you would self-harm but I think it got worse more and more every day you were there. Um, but you went to therapy and you decided that you would stop because you knew that that's something that you, that Jeff and Ben wouldn't like. And one day you heard someone luring you into the woods, so you decided to go when no one was supervising you. As you go into the woods, you hear branches moving and the trees swaying by the wind or so you thought it was the wind it was actually this very tall skinny man seen on poster to poster was more very very tall it was this very it was very tall <laughs> i don't know what to say it had no face and you hoped you didn't come in contact with it. But you got caught. But you didn't think you'd be alive once you made it out. You heard it talking to you. What has taken you to the others? They'll be waiting for you. You wonder to yourself who's they? And the more you thought about it, maybe this was the guy who kidnapped Jeff and killed Ben. But that was impossible, because Ben was ki killed by his bullies. Unless it was something else to the story. For the meanwhile, while you were being kidnapped, Ben and Jeff's POV was them just barely waking up in the morning, because all that happened at 12 p.m. They were getting ready for a mission and that Sunder assigned to them and they just got back. Um, but after that, they just like stay laid back. Ben asks to play uh, video games with Jeff. Jeff agrees but ends up not playing and just ends up taunting them. And then you Sunder comes in. And you're in this big bag, duffel bag, I say. And he asks Jeff and Ben to go to his office. Oh, thank fuck's sakes, we're back. I know, right? That was a fucking horrible mission. They put up traps and everything. Yeah, no shit, dipshit. I just realized I could have just teleported us out of there. Bitch. We ran through many fucking doors. Everything. Everywhere. Everywhere. Bitches don't even own a fucking computer. And then you just tell us, Hey, hey I might have just been able to just teleport us somewhere. Bitch, I, I, I'm bleeding. This isn't your first time, Jeff. I know, but like, still. Their blood wasn't- My blood wasn't worth to be on this city. Even though like, half of the blood is kind of mine. I think. I don't know. I have way too much blood on this hoodie. Maybe I should put it to wash. Jeff, I don't think you can wash it. Can you? I think I'm able to, but like, I just don't want to. I have a bunch of hoodies that have blood on them. You can imagine. Oh shit. Slender back. Slender's back. Really? Huh. I wonder what's in that devil bag. Egg. Let's go. Let's go ask him. Hey, Slender. Slender. What the fuck do you guys want? Nothing, nothing much. We were just wondering what was in that bag. 
It's not a big concern. Or maybe it is your concern. Do you guys by any chance know who a listener is? Listener? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Listener? Like as in Y-N-L-N? Listener? Ah, uh, so you do know them. Well, they were wandering in our woods. And I couldn't let that happen. Or did I lure them? You'll never know. But that doesn't matter. They were wandering in our woods. And I had to knock them out. But, since you do know them, and you never knew any one of the ways that I've said before, I'm making a proposition. If you can train them by the end of this month, you can let them, I can let you get them. And they'll murder for me. But if you can't, then the joke's on you, bitch. Hey, Slender, buddy, you gotta be joking, right? That, that's not listener. That's, 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 you got, you gotta be joking. That's, <laughs> hey. Ben, shut up. We got a deal. Good. I expect you to be good at training as you are as killing. Blunder through the duffel bag at the guys, knowing that it was your body in it, and just disappeared to his office. Holy shit. Listener. Okay, um, I'll go get the bandages. Ben, stay here and, um, make sure the listener is still alive. Okay? Alright, um... Okay, uh, the listener has... I think that's a sound effect. Oh, hey! She's actually like, you're not bruised anywhere, right? Why do you look so shocked? Wait. Oh, oh, it's my eyes. Oh, and the ears. Never mind. Hey, hey, why are you crying? I thought I was dead. <laughs> they tried killing me, but like I just like became revenge filled. So. Oh, Jeff? Yeah, he's here. Okay. He's, he's in the other door. I don't understand why you're so. Hey, hey, you can't get up here. You're not fully. Okay. Jeff, listeners awake. Holy shit. Hey, are you okay? Well, obviously not. You just fell. By the way, by the way, <laughs> funny coincidence. We kind of, you know, need to uh, teach you how to kill before the end of this month. Surprise! Yeah, I know it wasn't a good surprise. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, Ben, how are we gonna do this? I don't know. I don't train. I just go into video games. And I think since the listener is basically human and is not dead. Wait, are you dead? No, no, he's, she's, she's, they're not dead. Yeah, they're not dead. Um. Yeah. So, in a, after the month, uh, you actually do end up killing, and Slender gives you, like, um, oh no, three people to kill. And you go through at least two people. And then the last one, <laughs> Jeff and Ben see you kill. And they're like, oh, holy shit, that's hot. And yeah. By the way, you guys did catch up. You did catch up. And then they, like, they start having feelings for you. Like, you know, like the ones in the movies, I guess you could say. Yeah. All right, uh, Ben. So, 
we're gonna have to come to a compromise here because I like the listener, but you don't. Did you? Yep. Yes, I did. Holy sh! That's hot. Yep, I have to agree with that. <laughs> oh, uh, listener, you're here. Why are you here? Right, my friends. I forgot about that. Well, we kind of have something to tell you. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. But we do have feelings for you, and we're simps. And we kind of. Need you to choose one of us, cause we don't like each other, and we're straight or gay or uh, we're bisexual for you. Yes. It, I mean, I guess that's guess that's how you put it. Yeah. So, which one do you choose, L- listener? You can only choose one. Guys, guess what? I'm back. And I'm probably going to be posting um, my... This is deathbed. This is, in fact, deathbed. Why? Is because there's different parts to this. And it's multiple choice. Which means if you choose Ben, I make an entire video for Ben. If you choose Jeff, you do an entire video for Jeff. If they both come to a compromisation, they both end up dating each other. And you. <laughs> but if you end up choosing none of them, they end up being... Yeah. Um, so, put your choice in the comments. Like, subscribe, and don't forget to be supportive. Also, don't ask me for my age.